the space stone, a very powerful item that can be hard to obtain due to the very complicated crafting recipe to make it. But what if I told you there's another way to obtain the space stone, which I'm going to be doing in today's episode. But before I go into how I actually already found one, I should probably explain how you can get one without crafting it. Now, if I did want to craft it, the recipe would look like something like this, which is very, very difficult. Infinity ingots is in-game material that uh, there's no way I'm going to get anytime soon. But there's also another way I could get it, and that's to find one in something called a Norse village. I might have said that wrong, but essentially it has a chance at spawning in one of the churches, but there's actually only a chance for a church to spawn in one of these villages, and there's also a chance for it to spawn in a village. But how exactly did I find one in such a short amount of time? Well, the truth is, using the slash seed command, you can find out the seed of your world. Then you can copy that seed and put it into a different world and then put and then put that world into creative so essentially you have the same seed but that world is just in creative and then you can use the command slash locate and then you can locate one of these villages and then keep on doing that until you find one with a church now the one thing that is unfortunate is that if i do the slash locate and find a tesseract which is what you can use to convert into a space stone which is found in these churches is that the tesseract is like different for each world so if i find one in this one if i go back to that creative world it might not even be there in that one meaning i would have to travel to different villages until i find one but fortunately for me i kind of stumbled across it on accident originally i was actually going for villages to find a gauntlet mold in order to make a gauntlet and then find the space stone in another episode but on my way, I stumbled across one of these that was near uh, one of these villages that I found in my creative world. And I happened to get lucky enough to find one. Now, with that all the way, what exactly does it look like? And where exactly do you find it in the church? Although I did say you find it behind the tree, it's literally right here. And this is what it looks like. All you have to do is break the log here, and then it has just a chance to spawn in right here. Now, I can pick up this thing and drop it. All right, lesson learned. Do not right-click it with your in, your in your hand. I didn't mean to. I meant to actually drop it on the ground, and then left-click it to get the space stone. But, you know, I right-clicked on accident. If you don't know what actually happens when you right-click with this, it practically TPs you to a random dimension. And without a home pet, or whatever it's called, I think it's called house pet or something like that, I, the only way to get back to here was right clicking, going through a ton of dimensions with the Tesseract until I get back here, which actually I'm just at spawn. It feels so good to be finally back to home. But yeah, so uh, I have myself pretty much a space stone. I can't really use it because I don't have a gauntlet, which I'm hoping to do in this video. I might not completely finish it, but I'm going to get as far as I can in this video. Also, um... Yeah, I made a mistake in here. I uh, accidentally vein mined the whole, like, if you know what this is, it's a pocket dimension. I vein mined it all, and yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but okay, now if I hit Q, right, we have this. So this is practically a space stone now, not yet, of course. I actually have to left click it, which this will actually be, yeah, a pretty cool animation. And then I'm hoping, yeah, if I uh, right click this up, I have myself a space stone. Now, I'm going to, like, store this, like, away from my hotbar because I'm not sure if I right-click with that. If it'll TP to a random dimension, I do not want that to happen again. That was quite annoying. But, yeah, so be besides that, I did actually explore quite a bit. But my plan is actually to get a gauntlet mold, which then I will need to use to actually craft the uh, gauntlet, which I need, I think, a, like, some sort of ore that contains both i i think gold and um titanium but i think what i'm gonna do now is get the mold for the gauntlet i don't know how long that's gonna take so i'm just gonna cut back to when i find a uh blacksmith in a village because that's where they actually spawn now i do actually have some locations um from my uh the the backup or the second world of this uh the creative of the other one and I do have, yeah, like I said, a, a few um, villages that have a blacksmith. I'm hoping that's enough. Now, I don't think these things are necessarily the rarest, but you never know. We also have to hope, like, that I didn't loot some of these villages, because um, that would be kind of awkward, you know? I'm not trying to loot villages I've already looted. 
Although most blacksmith uh, villagers, I have not actually like touched uh, their loot. And maybe there was like a gauntlet. I don't know. Also, I don't know if I said this. My map reset. But here is the first village. Um, hopefully, like if I get lucky, this could be the one. But of course, no, that is not the case. Now from this village, the rest are actually negative. So I think if I just use this, it will be faster to help me find the rest. Now, overall, these villages aren't actually that far apart. It's like 2,000 blocks compared to even on this new map. Like, I've traveled so far. Like, I've, I actually traveled um, 10,000 blocks <laughs> in one direction, and it's kind of crazy. But yes, here is the second one, please. No. Oh, okay. I stumbled across a accidental village, but that's fine. Please have... Nope. Oh, yeah. Here is the blacksmith. Oh my god, I don't actually know how rare this is. Oh no. I don't know how rare it is. I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, and there's a dragon. Alright, that's when you leave. Alright, and this is another village. Uh, where is... Okay, here's the blacksmith. This actually isn't that far from spawn. And it does not have it. Oh my god, finally. Bro, it's literally... It, I didn't expect it to take this long. I've literally searched, like, 10 villages. And it, like, that's pretty, like... I mean, that's just villages with just blacksmiths, since it only, I think, spawns in blacksmiths. But it's been so... I've literally... Like, look at my map. I've searched so many different villages. It's not even funny. I don't know why it took that long. And sometimes... Yeah, sometimes I go so fast, the chunk doesn't even load. I think that's a problem with either my render distance or the literally the chunks can't load because I'm going so fast. But either way, look at this. I've go I've gone so many to so many villages, haven't found a single one until this one. It took me so long. I didn't expect to take this long. Now, although I was gonna complete the gauntlet, I'm just gonna head back with this. Um, I did actually loot a few cl uh, clouds and I got a house pet, which is really good. I don't have Ender Nuggets to feed it if it does um, uh, run out of uses but um i'll probably get those later now i do have one last thing i want to do i can fi find my house holy crap the last thing i want to do is actually make another pocket dimension i completely screwed up on my other one by actually not necessarily because i accidentally vein mined the whole thing but um yeah so i should use a quartz one because i think that makes the room completely like white blocks because the one i had was uh completely pitched like pitch black with all the blocks and it, it i just couldn't see where i was it was kind of yeah i don't know it was weird but the real question is do i have quartz oh yeah okay so i can craft the quartz door is it just how you normally make a door yeah okay yeah this is pretty easy now i think i actually could just use some from yeah okay i have a lot from this guy all right now i can just go like boom and then i think i have enough threads even after using um quite a bit for the other one I can find them. Oh, that's right. It's in my pouch. I'm stupid. My pouch is kind of full. Holy crap. All right, two. I think I only need two. So if I do end up failing again, then I'll have to make another one. But I also actually need to kill an Enderman for an Ender Pearl. So, oh God. Okay. I'm. This thing kind of looks like an Enderman. So maybe it'll drop it. Not completely sure. We can only hope. I, I can't see. Uh, it did not. All right. Looks like I have to continue looking for an Enderman, which is taking quite some time, actually. When I mean literally nothing's going my way in today's uh, episode, I literally mean that. Things are taking, like, triple the time it should actually take me. Oh, here we go. Here's an Enderman. But now I actually need him to drop a pearl. And also, I don't know what happened to my axe. Since I can't carry it with um Black Adam, I can't really use my... Uh, the weapon I made and he did not drop it of course. Why did I just get the advancement monster? Did it reset my advancements? Also another thing I have is and maybe why I just got that advancement was because there's like I have to constantly like delete this um the mod pack and re-download it just to, like carry over the file of my world because i have so many problems with it it's probably because how many mods there are on it there are on it but like i run into so many problems like constant crashing and stuff so maybe that's why i think i had to re-download it 
today. I'm not sure. Oh, here's another Enderman. Oh, there's two. Let's go. Oh, God. Get away. What the? Okay. Did he really just fling a creeper on me? Dude, this is not working. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. The quartz was literally in my inventory. What am I thinking? Boom, 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 boom. And the last thing is this. Hopefully. Wait, why? Wait, what? Oh, I just need one. Oh. All right, well, I have my pocket dimension. I'll show you that in the next episode because I am running short on time, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.